When it comes to building the Hackey Bridge section rollout method, we have a bit of preparation work to be done that can be done out of possession time. First of all, we need to have our tripod supports with a head fitting on to take the bridge. From there, we will build a minimum of a 564 bay, which is supporting the bridge. After that, then, it all depends on what size stairs we're using. In this particular case, we got a 1.6 landing to start with, so we built a 1.6 bay. So this can be converted into the landing after the bridge has been built. Then, we'll have a two and a half metre bay that has rollers on the top of the standards, which the bridge actually gets rolled onto. And then a bay behind, just so that we can door equipment up there. We do the same the other side, and once we've done that, when the procession starts, all we've got to do is put 750 beams across from one to the other. We do this so that the bridge can roll a bay at a time across to the other side. A couple of little things you might want to remember, don't put the pins in the top there because the wheels won't roll over them. So we still have the straight connector inside and then we strap it together with a piece of tube and two fittings. And then it's laced and braced and ready to go. On the first section, we'll deck it out because this is where we're going to build safely from. All according to the design drawing, if the bridge is longer or the support bays are wider, we may need a supplementary tube attached to support the ledger to take the load. So on the top of the birdcage, on the standards, we set the erection rollers and pin them into place the right way round, ready for the bridge to roll across the top of it. We also put ledger beams in upside down so they're coming upwards so that we can use these to anchor the bridge in place to act as a safety brake. Before we start erecting the bridge, we're going to need to erect the trolley. This carries the bridge up across the beams. To do this, we need to gain access by clipping off and getting down onto the safe platform below. First of all, we'll put two wheels on top of the beam, holding them in place, with the half coupler towards the inside. Over the top of this, we put two one metre standards. In between the two standards, we'll connect a 125 ledger beam. After that, we're then going to connect, in the lower pocket only, a 2.5 ledger beam. On the opposite side, into the 2.5 ledger beam, we'll connect a wheel and a standard. And then we will connect a 125 ledger beam between that standard and the fourth standard. Using 4BRS, we will connect two 2.5 ledger beams across onto the 125 ledger beams. This will support the bridge. Now we need to level those two 2.5 ledger beams to the first roller on the platform to make sure that it rolls across and support the bridge. Now we need to level the rest of the trolley by rotating the jacks either up or down. After we've done this, we need to set the ledger beams in the right place. This is 450 from the standard to the back edge of the ledger beams. Next, we fit a 1.4 tube to each side into the half couplers and tighten off. And now to complete it, we're going to put a diagonal cross bracing in to keep it square. And finally, to stop the trolley from rolling away, we need to put a brake on, which is done by ratchet strap to either side around the trolley and the standards of the erection rig. Now we're ready to start actually erecting the bridge. To do this, we start off by taking two bottom posts and connecting them with the bottom boom. The bottom boom is indicated that it's got an extra plate on the bottom. Connect them together using two 20 millimeter diameter by 125 millimeter clevis pins and R clips. So when fitting the clevis pins, it's always best to put them from outside inwards with the R clip on the inside. This way it doesn't catch anything as the bridge is rolling along. Now we lift the complete assembly into place and sit it on top of the two rollers on the 2.5 metre bay and strap down to stop them from moving using two ratchet straps. Now we can repeat on the opposite side, connecting them together with a 1.655 ledger at both ends before strapping down. Now in the bottom set of pockets on the bottom post, we connect two 2.5 ledger beams, one to each side. Now to keep the assembly square, we fit a set of cross plan braces across the bottom using 
16mm by 90mm long clevis pins with R clips. Next, we can start to erect the leading edge bag. Start by fitting a bottom boom to each side using two number 20 by 125 mm clevis pins and R clips for each boom. Followed by a bottom section of post held in place by two number 20 by 125 mm clevis pins and R clips, one to each side. Next, fit a 1655 ledger beam between the two posts and then centralise the bay between the tripod head adapters. Now, square the bay by fitting a set of cross clam braces with 16mm times 9mm clevis pins and R clips. Sometimes you will need to push or pull the end of the bay to allow the clevis pins to fit. Next, fit a 2.5 ledger beam, one to each side. Now we can continue by putting the mid section post in. This is done using a 20 mm by 80 mm long bolt with a nylock nut. At this point, we only want to finger tight it. When fitting the mid posts, we want to make sure that these two sets of twin pockets face towards the outside. Now for safety, before we even think about accessing any platform, we're going to install at the front edge a 1655 guard frame. Next, in the middle of the two and a half metre bays, we need to install an intermediate transom. Or we can use a 1.8 tube, a fitting and an adapter 35. When doing this, we need to make sure that we leave the fittings loose until we have put some decks in. At this point, we will now deck the first bay out. We start doing this with a cutout deck that will go around the standards and sit over the ledger. That's followed by nine standard solid decks to fill the two and a half meter bay. So when you've decked the bay out, remember to tighten these fittings off of the intermediate transom. And now we're gonna start building the sides in. So we're gonna put a 2.5 public access handrail in place. We do this by sitting it onto the platform, then lifting the tongues up so that they go above the pocket and then we can drop them into place. When we've done this one, we repeat on the opposite side so that both sides are handrailed. Before we access the platform, we're going to install a 1655 ledger as a scaffolder's handrail. Once we've done this, we fit all four post top sections into place and loosely bolt. Now for safety, we're going to fit in a two and a half meter guard frame to each side and a 1655 ledger to front and back. This will act as an anrail when we gain access to the upper platform. Now we can install three number 1655 by 600 wide hacky light decks to act as a platform for safe erection. At the front of this, we put a one meter UTV stairs in to gain access. Having gained access, we clip on, then remove the UTV stairs and replace with a fourth hacky light deck. So now we install the upper booms, one to each side. You can note the difference between the top and bottom because the top one doesn't have the extra plate. We can now fit the cross plan braces to the upper posts. To complete the first bay, we're going to need to fit diagonal cross braces, two to each side. To fit these, we use 20 mil diameter by 70 mil long clevis pins with R clips. To fit the clevis pins, you're going to need to adjust the brace so that the holes line up. After you've fitted the clevis pins, then just take the tension out of the brace by adjusting back up. Now we can continue and complete the second bay. Now we fit the bottom booms for the third bay. Now we can release the ratchet straps that were securing the bridge and start to roll the bridge out until the third plate of the ledger beam on the side of the bridge is above the ledger beams on the trolley. After moving it, we replace the ratchet straps on the erection platform so that the bridge can't move. Then we ratchet strap the trolley to the bridge section. Now we can complete the third bay 
and repeat the process for any other bays. So before rolling the bridge into its final place, we need to attach two bottom booms to the back end of the bridge. Then we can attach jacking points onto the tripods at the far end where the bridge is going to be received. Now we can roll the bridge out to its final place so that the centre of the bottom post is over the centre of the tripod. And then we need to restrap the extra booms at the far end. Now we place a jack onto the jacking point, one on each side. We then remove the ratchet straps holding the trolley in place. If need be, we can take the load of the bridge off the trolley by jacking it up slightly. However, in this case, we just release the jacks on the trolley enough to be able to roll it away. Now we need to loosely clamp this end of the bridge with one clamp either side of the post on both sides. Now from the safety of the access platform, we can dismantle the trolley and we can attach two jacking plates to the tripods. Now we can jack up the bridge slightly so that we can remove the bottom booms from the bottom posts. Now we release the pressure on the bottle jacks to lower the bridge down onto the tripods and clamp as per the other end. When it comes to the posts, you're going to need a 30mm spanner. When it comes to the public access handrails, you're going to need a 22mm spanner. When it comes to the clamps on the end, that's a 24mm spanner. And if you need to, although they're only usually hand tightened, the braces on the sides is a 36mm spanner. Now we need to tighten all the nuts and bolts on the bridge. And finally, if they're needed, we need to add stabilisers onto the corners. If you're erecting a bridge over a railway, you'll probably need to consider the whoosh factor. In this case, the final connection between the bridge and the stairs, we need to use the adjustable ledger so they can move in and out to suit the bridge moving.